welcome back to my channel it's called in Kesse's corner and this is in Kesse. as usual to my subscribers thank you very much for joining me again to my repeat viewers thank you very much do try and translate onto subscribers and if you're a first time viewer just you know clicking through the channels and you found me thank you for joining me today what i do is i just have simple organic conversation um, I discuss about events in life I discuss about events I've heard about I've all, I also discuss about events that have happened to me and it's just a, a simple conversation I welcome feedback remarks you know if you don't want to leave a remark below you could always send me a message uh, somewhere along somewhere on the screen <laughs> Is the subscribe button so I strongly advise you to click the button and subscribe now that's for the first time viewers <laughs> all right all done moving on well today my vlog is about a goosey on the go so I woke up with a strong craving for a goosey for a goosey soup now a goosey soup is made from melon it's a, it's um it's a soup that it's made you know in most African countries we just put we just blend the melon and we put some vegetables in it and it's really nice people cook it different ways um, in some places it's also called pumpkin soup but I think there there is a certain variation in the way it's being made well today I'm making my own egusi on the go that being said I know my mom has told me several times she says in case I don't make cooking tutorials <laughs> Don't, don't cook. but I'm going to do a little bit of a cooking today again <laughs> so mom if you're watching stay tuned <laughs> it's terrible when people don't have you know confidence in you <laughs> don't have confidence in you so they don't, don't, don't make any of those cooking tutorials <laughs> hey, guy, guy. all right then <laughs> let's make a goosey <laughs> All right, then I'm in my kitchen right now and I already started um, by boiling the meat. So the meat's been boiling for the while, for a while now. I'll just um, turn the camera around so you can see this. Like I said before, it's a goosey on the go. So I pretty much have prepped everything. Um, you didn't have to see me blend this because I bought it blended and I soaked it. And I soaked it with some onion, onion water. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna put that in now so hard when I'm trying to film at the same time there we go so that's my goosey now the goosey thickens up really fast so I'm gonna stir that's the goosey with the meat water the meat water was already the meat was already boiling so uh, I'm just gonna let it thicken up for a while and then I will start adding the bits and pieces inside so as you can see now, the egusi um, has become thick. It thickens very fast. And yeah, thickens right now. Everybody cooks it differently. So at this point in time, I would rather put in my um, bits for the pepper, That's the fresh, fresh uh, crab fish. You need to get more. I'm popping the fish. Remember, there's already meat in it. So I hope that's soft enough now. We're soaking it overnight, giving it a little bit of a stir. That's the pepper. I had a friend who told me um, I didn't add salt on pepper when I made my moimoi vlog. <laughs> I told her, please, I did, I did. So anyway, that's the egusi, that's the meat, um, that's the codfish, um, and that's a little bit of prawns with the glacier of pepper in it. And I'm um, just going to wait for that to cook a bit before I add the final bit, which is actually the um, frozen spinach. Now, if this was fresh, it's normally the last thing that would go in. So you can eat it while it's still very fresh. If you cook the uh, spinach for too long, that means you kill it and then it no longer has that nice, fresh taste. So everything else has gone in and that's the last bit that goes in. So yeah, we'll see. All right, then it's been boiling for a little while now. And I'm going to add the spinach to it. There we are. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it's frozen spinach. So that might take a little while to thaw. But it helps the fish inside get soft. The meat was already, you know, pre-boiled. So the meat also has time to cook. And of course, the goosey is still cooking as well. There we are. Yes. The last bits and pieces of my spinach. Now, um, people use different kind of leaves. Like some people would use a pumpkin leaf or um, 
the water leaf or any other kind of leaf on it but um i use i've chosen in this case to use spinach to cook it and then um, yeah it kind of gives it the same taste and flavor the flavors can vary but yeah in this case i'm using spinach okay so that's my frozen spinach in it we'll give it a while to cook the last thing that goes inside will be the palm oil i've got a little bit of palm oil there as you can see As mentioned before, the goosey thickens really fast and then um, I'm just giving it a little twirl. I'm mixing there to see if I can get the leaves, get the leaves blending in with the soup. Oops, 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 oops. oops. So that's the goosey cooking. It's really thick. Mm. Okay, yep. Yeah. That's the goosey cooking uh, before I do the final bit of uh, palm oil. Like I said, I'll be putting a little bit of palm oil on it because there is a little bit of a controversy surrounding palm oil and the use of it. And there we go. The palm oil is in. All right. So, yep. You know, the thing about um, turning food while it's cooking is that it tends, there's a high possibility that it could get burnt. So it's just good to put the condiments in and kind of let them, you know, blend in with the rest of the food. But, you know, some of us cook differently, so I put my things and I give it a little bit of a stir, a twirl, and then I let it be. So anyway, the palm oil's in, and then um, we'll give it a few more minutes and it should be done. And that would be our goosey on the go. Alright, then I gave it a few minutes to simmer, and that is my goosey soup. It's done. Okay, so yeah, ready to eat? It's very colourful and it's also rich in the meat, the dry fish um, and the prawns and yes for the curious minded, minded I have added salt in it as well. <laughs> Alright that's my igusi on the go. So that's my igusi and <laughs> Gary. I'm ready to eat it now. And I would also like to say to um, anyone watching or nearby, Didiangmo. <laughs> Thank you for your time and I will see you again. Take care. Cheers. Bye.